Estate Cutting here at the 2018 Lucas Oil Super Stakes. We just finished the day with the non-pro classic championship. That was won by Steve Anderson, who dominated with the 224. What did you think of that run, Steve? Hey, I thought it was a very strong run. I don't remember much of it. Um, but I tried to be aggressive everywhere I could. And um, we were real strong all the way to the end. Now, how long have you been cutting? Since 1996. Okay, so some 22 years. This is your first win in here, so this must feel very sweet. Oh, it's still a little surreal. Yeah, it's uh, exciting. I never thought I'd have a chance. It's usually the glamorous side of the family winning that we were talking about earlier. Yeah, the girls, they usually get to be here talking about me. I stand in the background. So, um, with that, with them having one in here before, especially your daughter Bella, um, kids are so fearless. Has she taught you anything, do you think, about showing? Patience. Okay. <laughs> you know, yeah, she, uh, she, she goes at it. She can make my head hurt, but she goes at it really strong. <laughs> I'm a herd holder, so uh, I'm saying, okay, but slow it down just a little bit. But no, that's, and Caleb, yeah, both of them go pretty strong. Okay. All right, so tell us about your run tonight. If Whatever you can remember or, um, you know, the cows that you picked. Because you were third out, so you, you probably got the ones that you had your eyes on, no doubt. I did. Right? We, we cut what we wanted to cut. Um, my last cow I wanted, I liked, was my favorite cow in the herd, but I couldn't find her on, she was too far back on the first cut, so I cut a, uh, a red headlight that John and I picked out, it was in a better spot, and she opened up and gave me a real good shot to get started, and it got me started aggressive, and then um, my second cow was a black dirty saddle cow that Pedro had, and it was on the outside over there where I could get to it, and um, it was a little tougher to cut than I thought. And then the third cow was up. I looked up, it was 48 seconds, and the cow I wanted was trying to come right out. So I thought, well, I gotta wait, I gotta do something for about 10 seconds here. And then I came right out with it and shut my eyes and kicked till the buzzer rang. And what did you think when that score came up? I was very happy. <laughs> so, being third out, you had to sit through a lot of very seasoned non pro competitors there. How did that feel? Oh, I was very, very nervous because all of them can beat me. <laughs> they all have a good run, you know. and. Um, Oh, everybody was trying. It, it made me nervous, but uh, heck, they're all my friends too. So that's right, and that's what you know makes cutting so great. Right. Everyone helps everyone. Um, with your horse, Little Mac, he's she's won in here before. He has won an open class in here before. Yeah. He won. Uh, I know a limited open as a four-year-old, and I really can't remember everything else. But I know he won. The, he won the super stakes in limited open as a four-year-old. Yes, 2016, I think it was. Right. Right. Yes. So. Um, what, did, what is it about the horse that you like? Oh, he's just an incredibly talented, he's strong, um, and he can do things that most horses can't do. He, uh, he's a beast of a horse. Now, your family's been involved in cutting, as we said, for you know, quite a long time. What is it that keeps you coming back year after year in this sport? The, the adrenaline rush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to get to go do this. Um, and, and we also, the, the training of the horses and all that stuff and the watching, it's very obsessive. Okay, so what's next for you? Excuse me? What's next? Yeah. Oh, we got four-year-olds though coming, so um, Michelle's got one, so okay. we got to finish this up. Okay. Well, congratulations. It's a great result. Thank you. I'm very excited. Thanks, Steve. Mm -hmm. Steve Anderson, the non-pro classic champion. And more cutting tomorrow. That's it for tonight. But we have the go-rounds of the Open Derby competition. You can watch it live on the CHC webcast. Good night.